my egg incubator is an exoterra unit which I've had for a couple of years um, and you can see that I can control the temperature and the humidity um, I don't really do anything with humidity temperature I've set at about 28 29 degrees centigrade uh, the heating in it is a uh, bar or set of wires on the top that throw the heat downwards and inside there's a little misting unit that turns on when the humidity drops um, it sits in a bath of water underneath and so when the humidity drops that little mister unit uh, comes on and it's supposed to glow and um, puts humidity in it and just like that you can see the mist coming up inside the incubator I can fit six maybe even more incubation boxes and uh, I'll speak to them separately but uh, you can move them about and you don't have to use all of them. Each of my incubation boxes is a plastic tub which I bought from the local do-it-yourself store um, and I filled it with vermiculite. I actually prefer to use the bigger grain vermiculite but I couldn't find any so I have to use the finer grain stuff here. I've also got a little temperature sensor in there. Uh, put a lid on it which has got just on the corner here let's let's the air in and what it is it's just um, u sections that I've glued that, that fit on there like that and it means that if I have animals like lizards when they hatch they don't escape but they still get the air uh, going into the uh, container I place the eggs in the container with the same orientation as I find when I'm uh, looking for them in my in my um, vivariums outside and this is the latest hatch you can see this one is just hatched and this egg has just got a crack in it these are spotted turtle eggs um, so I'm gonna leave it alone until it emerges it itself because it knows how well its egg sac absorption is doing and it's the best judge for when it pokes its head out its brother has uh, uh, come out yesterday or sister when they come out they're covered with the vermiculite because their body's wet and sticky so what I do is I wash them off in this little tub and the water temperature is at the same temperature as the uh, rest of the container once washed off I put him back into another tub with just a, a layer of tissue and some moisture to allow it to absorb its yolk sac at its own speed. This one is from my red face animals, it's the first one I've had hatch in four years. After a couple of days, when I'm happy that the yolk sacs have been absorbed, I'll move them to uh, another container containing a little bit of weed and a bit more depth of water. And I'll leave them in there for a couple of days. After a couple of days, I move them from the, um, the weed and water in the warm incubating unit into this A4 size rub. It's got about a couple of inches of water and loads of weed. And in here, I will keep them until I've got a semblance or a clue of being fed or eating. And I'll be feeding them little bits of worm. I've seen them take little miniature um, mealworms um, in fact anything I can do to tempt them even little bits of prawn and once I've seen them feeding um, and I'm comfortable that they are a healthy animal I move them on to the next stage 
this is the next stage it's a much bigger tub it's about a, a foot by two foot um, in dimension and it's probably six four or five inches deep I've got basking lights which are tungsten halogen and I've got uh, a UV strip light and uh, uh, illumination for a little bit of daylight um, and in here I, I, I keep them here for as long as I feel comfortable with um, I want to see them eating properly I want to see them being greedy um, and I feed them in this way I've got I'll turn off the filter and I've got this tub I've got a metal thing stuck to the underneath it so it sinks and those that you do travelling in aeroplanes will recognise this as one of the aeroplane tubs which we um, which we found in our bag by accident um, anyway I, what I do is I drop in mealworms and all the food goes in there so it doesn't go all over the place the turtles have learned to go in there to eat um, and they know when the filter goes off and uh, the mealworms or whatever goes in then it's feeding time and they usually now these are the second batch this year they a couple of hours and they'll have polished it off what's left I just lift the dish out and throw it away so the hygiene is really um, quite good um, loads and loads of weeds in here and natural bugs and stuff um, what's left I expect I've hunted some of it down already so they'll be in here a couple of weeks, three weeks, till I'm absolutely sure that they're, they're robust and strong. In previous years, at this stage, I would put those youngsters straight outside and let them hibernate naturally in one of these ponds. Plenty of food, plenty of hibernation opportunities, safe as sound. And this has worked for me for years and years. But the last two years, the weather has been weird and I lost a couple which I didn't um, understand I just put it down to weather but nevertheless um, I've changed what I'm doing and I tried it last year um, and it works so I'm going to show you that now this is the same size tub with the same size feeding bowl and with just as many weeds and I've just got three animals in there they're in the greenhouse so they are less weather driven um, and they sit here they can come and bask and in, in the evenings and in the winter I could put that lid on and cover it and give some insulation from the real cold and my, my if, if I have any left my intention is to overwinter them uh, in this tub and I did that successfully with painted turtles and spotted turtles last year and here's a very similar thing but this one's a handmade box slightly bigger um, and I've got a couple of turtles in here and a, and a leaf turtle which is enjoying life there he wants more land area and he'll get that once I've shifted some of these turtles and that'll happen in the next week or so uh, in the meantime he's grown like a good one there very pleased with him so that's the story several steps each step uh, just developing their resilience their hardiness just that little bit more